everyone welcome back to a new video today i want to continue with um, emergency lighting for um, the corridor for this corridor uh, as i promised in my previous video where i was presenting the um, the standards about the emergency lighting if you did not see that video i will add the link uh, into the description of the current one uh, so emergency lighting for the corridor so please have a look uh, to learn more about the emergency lighting and which standards actually is covering um, uh, this topic and uh, let's start with uh, establishing the emergency lighting for this corridor uh, first thing you need to go on the calculation and then click on uh, on the, the right button and then you have the pictogram with the emergency surfaces and click on it and then i will just change to 2d as well just to have uh, much easier to define the anti-panic so we'll start with any anti-panic surface you can just create anti-panic surface for a space and it's done automatically and then of course we need to to move the escape group some details related to the wall zone you know, we, the software is doing automatically 0.5 from the walls and also the height of course is the, on the on the floor level and then as mentioned we will skip on the uh, we'll jump to the escape route and then we have draw escape route so we have two doors uh, right left I will just go on the on the left one and then I will just draw the surface around the escape route so it will be done automatically also the escape route for for my space I will switch to 3d just to to have a better overview of the two two surfaces of course it's a small corridor but just an example how you can do the emergency lighting for a corridor uh, it can be this shape bigger l shape u shape whatever shape you you have in your um, lighting project so after we define we have defined the um, anti-panic and the escape route then we move to the luminous part light part click on the icon and then we have also the pictogram for the emergency luminous we click on it and then we see automatically the two um, emergency lighting that we have uh, the areas which we have set up early on and then from the all luminous i want to check now we see here the pictogram the emerging luminaire properties we do not have and then we can we can use the light output in both normal and emergency calculation or we have the use the light output in emergency calculation only i will choose the middle luminaire i will define it as a emergency lighting and you have this property you after you, you want to define a certain luminaire as uh, uh, to be used as emergency luminaire you just click on this icon and then you see automatically uh, this pictogram which is um, designed or shown near the luminaire which have been uh, dedicated for the emergency lighting and then we have here also the calculate without furniture or you can put also with furniture in my case i don't have furniture so here um it's it doesn't really make a difference if you speak an open space uh an office where you have furniture that you need to take into account if you if you want to use this option i uh, will emergency lighting we have here light effect 100 percent. i would say you do i don't think that i need 3100 to be honest so i would just use 10 percent because we do not need more and here we have also the false color preview so we can see that normally we have like one one lux and 0.5 for the escape routes and then anti panic 0.5 for a corridor and let's let's start the calculation i will just give a quick calculation even now we'll do i guess also the general lighting let's see the outcome should be higher i would say 
then uh, then the values that we need to to provide yeah you see that we are 268 621 so maybe i guess even five percent of the total luminous flux of the luminaire would be enough so it's easy to ch if you have a green here box then um the light level had been achieved so we start with the emergency route which we see it here defined like, with this red area and then we have uh, 268 a middle area 268 which should be the target equal or higher than 0.5 we have higher so that's okay and then we have on the mid central line 3.32 which in our case we have 3.32 and we should be higher or equal to one lux level so for the emergency route we are okay and then when we move to anti-panic we can see also here we are way above the target i would say we have 6.21 we need to have equal or higher than 0 0.50 so in this for this application we have everything uh, okay everything has been done let's say correctly or emergency lighting and for the escape group anti-panic fulfills the minimum requirements even we are above and here you can just if you want to check the area it's very nice also done in dialogues evo when you switch for one emergency lighting anti-panic in this case and for the escape route it's it's changed automatically if you have any questions um please write it down in uh, the commentary section if you find this uh, useful you find this video or this information sorry useful please give a like and subscribe to my youtube channel it will help me and as mentioned early any questions new application where you want to establish the emergency lighting please add it in the comment comment section and next time i want to do the uh, emergency lighting for uh, a staircase until next time i wish you all the best take care of you bye bye